Hello again, Ed Wade here, and today we're going to look at another way of making graves. Remember I told you that when you mix the three colors together, the red with the yellow with the blue, you can get grayed down colors? Well, let me show you something a little bit different today. Let me show you how to complementary colors colors that complement each other can make grays. We've got blue. And when you mix blue with an orange, I'm going to have to make an orange because remember we don't have orange in our, in our palette. So blue mixed with orange get a little of this and put it over here. So I can mix it with a little bit of this blue. And you see that we have a gray color. Here's the reason why. Because yellow plus red makes orange. Well, what's the big deal with that? Well, you remember I told you that when you mix yellow and red and blue. Even if you do it unknowingly, you've mixed the three colors. And in order to get this orange, which is the complement of blue, you had to mix it with yellow and red. So you have yellow and red making the orange. That's two of the colors, and then the blue makes the third color. And you end up with your gray. Now I'm just going to show you a range of colors you can get from those. So if we were to start out with totally blue right here, and totally orange over here, orange is pretty watered down, let me make it a little thicker. Now I'm looking at this while I'm mixing it and that orange is a little bit too red for me. That's better. Okay, there we go. So if we start with the blue. Now let's start with the on from the orange side. And mix just a little blue each time. a little less orange. A little less orange. You can see how, well besides this one where I added more orange inadvertently, you can see how it's going from orange and it's going to a neutral color and then it's going to work its way towards more and more blue. Until you actually have pure blue. So we can go from pure blue and as we mix a little orange with it, it starts to go towards orange until it gets to pure orange. If we start with pure orange and start to mix a little blue with it, it'll go all the way till it gets back to pure blue. The more and more blue you put in it. So now we have two more combinations here. For example, 
example, we have the phthalo blue. And we have an orange made from the two cadmium colors. Just want to show you how how different your mixes can look depending on the reds, yellows, and blues you choose to use. Once again, I'm mixing until I get an orange. I don't want it to be a red orange. I want it to be an orange. There we go. We got our orange. So if I start to mix a little blue at a time, Gonna start to change. Oops, wrong blue. that mistake this is the right blue little touches at a time and you see the same thing is happening as happened here the colors are just different 